How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 19 Survival Series. So, in the previous episode, we got our two fields harvested. And over on the field back there, we have got some um, straw swath from the oat that we need to bale. So, I got the Mercedes out with the bale fork and got everything washed up. And it actually looks very, very nice. All clean and washed. That's the first time we've seen this thing clean. And I cleaned up the trailer as well. It's still got some rust spots and stuff over here. But it's okay. It's not too bad. Um, but we need to head over to the shop. So I'm going to jump in the full tractor here. And we'll take the inside view. And we are going to take this up to the shop. Rent our baler. And we'll bring it back to the farm. So the rent price is I think about two and a half grand for initial lease and then you pay i think per day or per hour after that i'm not 100 percent sure how it works uh, but we will find out so i am going to use the ford tractor to actually bale and the mercedes to pick up the bales afterwards and i will say i'd rather go for square bales but the square baling machines even to rent is pretty freaking expensive so we're just going to go with the round bales for now because it's just a lot cheaper to rent those machines. Um, but it, it's going to be a bit of a problem because, well, we've only got a flatbed trailer and it doesn't have any sort of backstop uh, at the end of the trailer. So yeah, we're going to have to sort of get creative with the stacking to move them around. But I think what we can do is initially put a bale on the back of the trailer strap that bale down and then use that as sort of a backstop and then pack the rest of the trailer in between uh, so i'm not sure if that's gonna work but we're gonna freaking try uh, but yeah i mean square bales would have been ideal here but like i say when it comes down to cost it's just much cheaper to rent the round bale machines compared to the square ones but it's okay and i'm also using the full tractor to and pull the baler rather than the mercedes because the ford has got about 30 horsepower more well actually about 25 horsepower more than the mercedes so it's not a lot i mean the baler i think only needs about 70 horsepower and the ford's got 160 so it even the mercedes should be fine but yeah that little bit of extra horsepower might give us one or two miles an hour on top so um yeah we're gonna go lease for two and a half there we go beautiful and yeah that is a it's a very basic sort of baler that is there's there's nothing fancy about that and uh, we're not going to do any bale wrapping or anything like that i mean it would be cool if we could because we'd get a lot more uh, if we wrapped it in terms of silage but we'll do that one day when we get a some better equipment like windrows and things and i mean we've got a tiny little uh, mower that will fit perfectly onto the back of the macy ferguson i mean it's tiny the working width is probably only about three meters but i mean we can cut grass but we don't have a rower or anything like that and we'll have to rent a baler and rent a bale wrapper and all of that so i don't know i don't know if i want to get into grass just yet i think we've got some some other things that we can focus on for the moment and yeah i mean we had a decent harvest i'm pretty happy with that i'm still thinking about getting a a bigger harvester for the next harvest coming up and i did take a look around again and there is a john deere i think it's a 2266 or something like that a pretty old john deere and we can get that for about a hundred and thirty thousand dollars with uh gps so that's not a bad price uh, but that does exclude the header and the header that fits on it is a six meter header or 6.1 meter header so it's not massive but compared to our four meter that we've got at the moment it'll definitely make a difference i mean it'll be noticeable without a doubt um so i don't know we we might look into that but i don't know if i want to take a loan to buy a harvester but we might need to unless i mean we do one more good harvest like we had now and from there 
we can do a bit of logging and things to make up the difference and we can buy it cash so it will mean that we need to do one more harvest with the tiny harvester but i mean it's not the end of the world it takes a while to do but it's not a huge deal i mean it's it's really not anything it's not that bad i mean this field took just over an hour maybe an hour and a half to do um but i mean i can deal with that one more time and if it if it means we stay out of debt then i will definitely do it i mean i'll be happy to do that but yeah anyway um i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into a time lapse and i'm gonna get these bales knocked out i mean if we get one bale per row here we're gonna end up with a good amount of bales i'll tell you what i mean that was just over half a row and we got a, a full bale out of that so pretty freaking good so yeah if, it, if that keeps up then then we're gonna do well here i'm actually still a little bit angry at myself for not putting the setting on the harvester to drop the swath um around the headland because we missed out now that i see how much we're getting per row here that's a lot of money that i'm missing out on there dang it i'm, I'm really not happy about that but things like that happen i mean it just happens one of those things and we'll just have to deal with it but anyways let's drop into that time lapse uh we'll drop this one off there we go also the square baler is automatic actually you get a automatic round baler now which we'll hopefully have a chance to look at at some stage but anyway we're going to drop into the time lapse and i'll catch up with you guys a little bit later Alright, that is the baling done and I dropped off the baler back at the shop and well good no problems there where did that come from anyways um so we didn't have to pay anything on top of the two and a half thousand dollars so that's pretty good and I think what I might do I'm not a hundred percent sure we'll see how it goes with the Mercedes um, I don't know, I might need a weight on the back of this thing. If I do, I'll head back to the farmyard and pick up the weight. And, um, but I think the trailer might be a little bit heavy. With all of those bales on it. And this is not the most powerful tractor in the world. So I might pull it with the John Deere but we'll see i'll give it a go with this one and see what happens but yeah i think it might be a little bit heavy and think about it, i'll probably need to go and grab that weight anyway so yeah and uh, what we're gonna do is 
We are once again gonna drop into a time lapse. I'm gonna get all of these bales because we've got quite a lot of bales. I mean, look at that. That's a lot of bales, and we could have had a lot more if I remember to push the freaking button to do the headland. Um, but it's okay. I mean, it's it's gonna be a lot of work as is. So. Yeah, unfortunately we're going to lose a bit of money as a result of that, but I'll definitely not make that mistake again, hopefully, um, in the future, but we'll see. But anyway, I'm going to get all of these things loaded up, and we'll probably get a couple of trailers full. So we'll see how much we, we get out of this. So yeah, let's get it all done. Right, before we jump into the time lapse, we have had... A change of plans and you'll probably see I'm heading I'm coming in from the town side are you ready for this here we go boom oh that was a bit less dramatic than what I thought it was gonna be and um, so on my way literally I was on my way back to the farmhouse um, to the shed to pick up the weight I actually did pick up the weight and on my way back here, I was like, you know what will make this a lot easier? Is the auto stacker. So this thing holds 24 bales at a time. And, I mean, we've got a lot of bales here. So it's going to make things a lot easier. And I was just really not in the mood um, to sit here and collect all of these bales manually with a bale fork. So, um, yeah, I thought it'll be worth just renting this machine. And it's actually pretty cheap. It was also $2,500. So, basically, as long as we get $5,000 out of all of these bales, we will break even. And, I mean, if we only had a handful of bales, I wouldn't have got the, the auto stacker. But because we've got a lot of bales here, um, this is probably 50, 60 bales. Um... I just, I just think it's worth it. I think we're going to get a lot more than $5,000. Or well, at least I'm hoping we're going to get more than $5,000. Um, but yeah, I think it's absolutely worth it. And I would actually love to buy one of these at some stage. I mean, I'll have to buy a baler first. Um, but a baler is not that bad. $45,000 for a bale, $50,000 for this. I mean, $90,000 and $95,000. You could have yourself a really nice little setup. I mean, that might almost be worth taking a loan for but yeah for now i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up all of these bales um so we're gonna drop into that time lapse and i'll catch up with you guys afterwards and we'll see how much we actually made out of all of this Right, so I'm on my way back from dropping the auto loader off at the shop and what a freaking disappointment that was so we got paid a lot less for those bales than what I thought we would get um, I, I was sort of optimistic and thought maybe we'll get like a thousand dollars a bale maybe five hundred dollars a bale I don't know but I think we got like I don't know we, we barely got anything I, like yeah that was bad that was pretty bad i think we got like a hundred and something dollars per bale so we ended up with 
31 bales. I thought we had like 50 or 60, but yeah. Overestimated that massively. So we ended up with 31 bales in total. Uh, we probably could have had about 50 if I remember to do the headland. But it turns out it wouldn't have made much of a difference. And I'm kind of glad I didn't sit there and sort of load those things up with the front loader. Um, that I actually have right there. Um, still connected to the trailer where I put it away. When I decided to get the autoloader. Because I would have been pretty upset if I sat there for a long, long time loading with that and getting almost nothing so it turns out we got three thousand seven hundred dollars for 31 bales so just over a hundred just over a hundred dollars per bale and um yeah that means through renting equipment we actually made a thousand three hundred dollars loss on those bales so, um, yeah, we won't be doing bales again anytime soon. I think we'll only start really doing baling again um, when we get cows. So when we, yeah, when we get a dairy, then we'll, we'll need it. So then we'll do it. But I thought it'll be a nice little sort of extra bit of money. But it turns out you're probably just going to break even. Um, even on both of our fields, um, if we planted something that... We could bail both of them. We'll probably just scrape over um, breaking even. So it's really, really not worth it. I mean, I can cut down one tree and get more money than that. So yeah, for the amount of work involved in that is really, really not worth it. So we're definitely not going to waste time with that again. But um, I mean, you live and learn. It was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It was cool. But yeah, definitely not worth the money with the economy right now. Um, so yeah, that is a lesson learned, but yeah, one of those things, here we are. But yeah, so I think in the next episode we'll probably start prepping fields again for uh, drilling. And yeah, then after that, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But that is going to be it for today, guys. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and I'll see you all next time.